Deanna, and welcome back to my channel, or hi, hello if you're new here. Today I have my June favorites for you all, and I cannot believe that we are at the end of June. Like, this is the first month of the summer, and we are now closing the chapter on this month, and we're going to be going in and starting a new month. I had some makeup favorites that I have been loving this month. I had a fashion favorite that I have been loving this month. So, let's just go ahead and get right into the things that I have been loving. Alright, since I have a lot of makeup favorites, let's just start out there, and then we'll work our way into the one fashion favorite that I do have for this month. So my very first makeup favorite is the Essence Mosaic Blush in the shade All You Need Is Pink. I believe I've talked about this before on my channel a couple of times, but I've rediscovered this blush this month, and this is a perfect blush for the summertime because it's a really pretty peachy pink blush. It has like all these different shades of peach and pink kind of like mixed in there together, and then you just swirl them together on your brush. You apply it to the apples of your cheeks, and it really does just give you this really nice summery kind of kissed by the sun look to your cheeks which I love. I am really obsessed with this blush. It is a very soft powder. It's very smooth. It's very lightweight feeling. Um, It is lightly pigmented so a little bit of this does kind of give you kind of like a sheer effect so you definitely can layer up this blush if you want to and really build it up and intensify it but I just kind of like to leave it as it is kind of naturally with just one stroke so this has been my go-to blush this month. Alright, so the next thing that I have been loving this summer and this month is something that I actually don't really use a particular product to do it with because you can literally get super creative like I have done and use this with any palette that you um, may own, but I have been really into smudging some color onto my lower lash line. It is a fun way and subtle way to wear color in the summertime. It's not overdone or anything like that. It's on your lower lash line, and I feel like it just looks so pretty and so beautiful. So I have been really enjoying popping some color onto my lower lash line. I've done pink, I've done purple, I've done blue, I've done green, and today I did a little bit of pastel yellow onto my lower lash line. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, so I'll have a close-up of what that looks like, but it looks super pretty. I've just been using this tiny little angle to brush that I got off of Amazon to apply the color to my lower lash line, and I kind of go just a little bit halfway in. I don't go all the way in because my eye kind of dips down right here, and it's a little bit deep set, and it just looks a little weird in that corner, so I always just concentrate the color onto this little corner right here, but it is something fun and very different to do every day to your makeup routine and you can really have fun with it and use different colors. One of my main palettes that I have been reaching for to do this with is the Pigment Palette Smarter Royalty Palette. I've also done this with my NYX Rainbow Palette. I've done this with my Profusion Palette. Just any type of palette that you have at home that has a bunch of fun bright colors in it will work just as good. So the shade that I actually use today on my lower lash line is the shade Cannery, which is the yellow shade in this palette. So that is just something else that I have been loving this month. Alrighty, and I have rediscovered my love for this mascara this month. This is the Benefit Their Real Mascara, and I tried this a couple of years ago when this first launched, and for whatever reason, I don't even remember why I did not repurchase this mascara after I finished it up, but this is a seriously good mascara. A couple of coats of this mascara will give you such a beautiful false effect to your lashes. This is just what the wand looks like. The bristles on this is very spiky, which can kind of be a little bit scary, and you do need to be very careful with this to not accidentally poke yourself in the eye with it. And then at the top of it, it does have spikes as well that you can kind of like use to push up your lashes if you want to. This is a very wet formula though, so I will warn you that you do have to be very, very careful with this mascara if you are a makeup beginner because it's very easy to get this everywhere all over your eyes. And you do also kind of like have to wait a couple more minutes than normal for this to dry on your lashes as well. You probably have to go a good solid six to seven minutes without blinking so that way this mascara doesn't smudge. But I honestly don't mind that with the false effect that it does give my lashes. I used about three coats of this today and it did really 
enhance my natural length and my natural curl to my lashes, which I really love. So I definitely recommend checking out this mascara if you're in the market for a really good lengthening and volumizing mascara. Alright, so let's talk about some lip products that I have been loving for this month. So the first one is just the Sephora brand Matte Lip Cream. This is very comfortable to wear because this doesn't dry down on your lips whatsoever. It is a matte, but it does stay creamy on your lips. It's not moisturizing, but it does stay pretty creamy. So it's not overly drying on your lips whatsoever. And this color is such a beautiful color for the summertime because this is in the shade Magenta Luster. And this is just a really pretty neon hot pink. I love to wear this on days that I don't really feel like putting a lot of effort into my makeup. I can just pop on some mascara, throw this lippy on, and I'm good to go because it's a really good way to fool people and trick people into making them think that you spent a lot of time on your makeup when you actually didn't. So I definitely love this little lippy. And then another bright and fun lippy that I have been enjoying for this month as well is from Maybelline. And this has literally became my new favorite lip gloss from the drugstore. This is their Vivid Hot Lacquer, and this is just in the shade Sassy. Um, this is also a hot pink, but this has a little bit more of a berry undertone to it, so this kind of looks a little bit more like a berry lip color, but it's still very bright and perfect for the summertime, and I love the formula of these glosses because they're so smooth and moisturizing on the lips. They do kind of wear off, but they do wear off gradually, so that it is something to kind of take into consideration that you might have to take this along to touch up with. The applicator does have a sponge tip, and it's kind of like a teardrop and it does kind of have a little hole in the middle that distributes the product. So, all right, and then my last makeup favorite is something that I have on my lips today, and this is the Kylie Jenner Lip Kit in the shade Coco K. Let's talk about the lip liner first. So the lip liner is very smooth and very creamy, and it glides over your lips very nicely, and I really do like it a lot. I finally have found my perfect mauve nude lip liner. Every single one that I have tried in the past has either been too pink or they just look a little bit weird on me. This one looks just right. So I really do like this one a lot. And I really want to try more of her lip liners because this one's just that good. So I might actually place an order online and order a couple more of her lip liners because I know that they do sell these individually now. And the actual liquid lipstick itself is so amazing. First off, this is a super lightweight formula. Like, I honestly don't even feel this on my lips. It can be a little bit drying if you don't moisturize your lips properly before you put this on. I normally, on days that I know that I'm going to use this liquid lip, I will actually put on a really good thick moisturizing lip balm on my lips and then blot it away and then apply this and it really does help to just kind of make it a little bit more comfortable throughout the day. Um, the color is nice as well. Um, it's a little bit lighter than the lip liner, but that's okay. And the applicator is a nice little sponge tip applicator. And usually at one swipe and I'm done with this liquid lipstick, it is super pigmented, which is really nice. So I definitely think that if you're in the market for a good liquid lipstick, you definitely should try the Kylie Jenner lip kits because these are seriously amazing. All right, and then my very last favorite for the month of June is just this little tube top and it's actually supposed to be like a cropped tube top but on me it just looks like a regular tube top i picked this up at walmart and it is super cute at the bottom down here it kind of like flares out and then up here it has some ruffle and then in the middle it just kind of like has some rainbow and bordering which is just really cute and i have been loving this for the summer because first off it is super cool to wear because it's been super hot here in georgia where i live so it is super cool it's super refreshing to wear i pair this with shorts i pair this pretty much with anything that I have in my closet and I just think that it's super cute. So that is it for my June favorite. All right, so that is it for this video. Thank y'all so much for watching my June favorites. I really hope you all did enjoy this video, and I will see you all in my next one really, really soon. 